Rebel Wilson has been making us laugh for years now, but Lee Cowan tells us her new memoir is about a lot more than funny business. Stretching out below the hallowed Hollywood sign lies a little bit of L.A. greenery. Griffith Park. It's a surprisingly peaceful place, given the cacophony around it. Although, for actor Rebel Wilson, when she first moved here from Australia back in 2010, the idea of hiking these trails seemed a bit weird. Being quite big, I was like, who would find it enjoyable to walk up a hill? <laughs> She's always owned her weight. Given the pitch-perfect character that made Wilson famous, how could she not? What's your name? Fat Amy. Um, you call yourself Fat Amy? Yeah, so twig bitches like you don't do it behind my back. That was really the one that really changed my life and actually made me earn, earn lots of money. <laughs> Wait, I shouldn't say that. <laughs> Even though some of you are pretty thin, I think that you all have fat hearts. It's clear it was her talent, not her size, no that ensured money. she wasn't a one-off. Your diary proved very interesting to read. You read, my, you read my journal? At first, I did not know that it was your diary. I thought it was a very sad, handwritten book. Bridesmaids was her breakout. She got six movie offers in the two weeks after its release. She was a sure thing, and those around her wanted to make sure she stayed in her lane. My agents were against like losing weight because they thought, well, you've got such a pigeonhole, but it's such a valuable pigeonhole, being the fat, funny girl, so we don't really want you to lose that. It made her relationship with both food and fame both complicated and contradictory. People would see me being this confident big girl and just like didn't seem to be restricted by being a big girl. But then what they wouldn't see is, you know, after a movie premiere, coming home and just eating a couple brownies and a couple cupcakes and a think plate of ice cream and then feeling terrible about myself for doing that. That's one of many sobering secrets that Wilson is about to reveal this week in her memoir, Rebel Rising. If you're going to write a memoir, you may as well just share everything. The book starts where she did, as a young Melanie Elizabeth Bounds, who had trouble finding friends. One part of the book that really struck me is you said it when you were in elementary school, did you really eat your lunch in the bathroom sometimes? Yeah, because mm -hmm. I was just so shy that the thought of going out and talking to people that I didn't know was really terrifying. So I'd not often just sit in the toilet and with my little plastic lunchbox and just eat my little cheese sandwich. Mm, it's so sad, um, though. Yeah, I know. But I found her mom was so worried she decided to enroll her in drama class, a surefire cure, or so she thought. I was like, no, that's not me. Like, I'm holding onto the car door by my fingertips <laughs> and she's pulling me. <laughs> rips me off, like pushes me like a snow plow into the thing. I'm like, no, 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 I'm not going, not going. And then pushes me in the door, shuts the door and says, I'll be back at five and leaves. Like her stories, her writing is frank and funny, including about the most intimate things. You hadn't, I guess the nice way to phrase it is gone all the way sexually yeah. until you okay, were that's a good PG way of saying 35, it. 35, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I hadn't had sex until I was 35. And that was something that I, I felt ashamed of, about it. Like, I felt really embarrassed about it, actually. Even though no one knew? Yeah, no, nobody knew. Not even the guy that I first slept with knew, and now he'll know. Great. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's not to say that all the memoir is um, funny but, reading especially when she gets to one of her later roles with fellow comedian and one-time co-star, Sasha Baron Cohen. I thought, oh, he's a comedy genius. And it was just, ended up being the worst professional experience I've had. Oh, look, I'm exactly like Sharon Stallone in Basic Instincts. During the filming of The Brothers Grimsby, released in 2016, Wilson says she felt Baron Cohen had, quote, something against women, particularly overweight women. This felt personal, she writes. He just wanted me to look and feel awful. He asked me to do things that made me feel very uncomfortable, humiliated, and kind of degraded as a human being. 
And uh, yes, I'd played characters before that had um, used my figure physicality to my own advantage, but I had agency over that character. Through a spokesperson, Baron Cohen called Wilson's allegations, quote, demonstrably false. One of the writers and producers of Grimsby told Sunday Morning, quote, this makes no sense. Not only was Rebel's character consistent with how she was described in the script, which Rebel had read and approved prior to filming, she also had full agency in all aspects of her character, Dawn. He is one of at least eight people connected to the film so far who've come forward to cast doubt on Wilson's claims. Nevertheless, she writes that when the production finished, quote, it really sank in. It felt like Sasha Baron Cohen had sexually harassed me. It's not about canceling him. It's more about um, expressing my truth and, and what happened. And She's felt wronged before when tabloids in Australia claimed that she had repeatedly lied about her backstory. Wilson took the billion dollar media company to court my case and won. Incident. It wasn't just defamation, it was malicious defamation, yeah, right? That's yeah. what they ended Which up. Which is the hardest form of um, defamation to prove. She knew what she was doing. Wilson actually has a law degree from the University of New South Wales. She earned it while still starring in a hit Australian TV series. And she wanted me to tell you not to call her anymore. I got famous first in Australia for playing this like gang girl. And then they'd see me walk into like my federal constitutional law exam. <laughs> just they'd just be like wait but isn't that like it would confuse the hell out of people <laughs> she's still surprising people in 2022 okay. she ditched comedy for a dramatic role do not be nice to me the movie revealed a different side of wilson and a different look she had lost as much as 60 pounds in just 11 months in part on the advice of a fertility doctor. Yep, Wilson was ready to be a mom. You want to say mama? Mama! Mama! mama. Yay! Yay. <laughs> Meet Royce Lillian Elizabeth Wilson, born via surrogate in November of 2022. What? Oh, oh, that's Lee there. Yeah. Hi. You're not used to seeing men in the house. <laughs> In part, that's because Wilson also found the love of her life, girlfriend Ramona Agruma. Wilson proposed last year on Valentine's Day at Disneyland. All this time, I thought I was looking for a Disney prince, and then I found out maybe it was a Disney princess. It's called Koala's Big Day Out. Rebel Wilson has always Disney chased her dreams. Stuff? What's presently clear from her memoir is that, so far anyway, she's managed to catch Almost all of them. I got you. I got you. You can't escape me. I'm the master